Hi Aquarians, welcome to your January 2021 monthly reading. And before I get started, I would like to put out to all of you, I need your help. I want to start reading from my Karmic Astrology, North Nodes of the Moon book, um, the nodes, both the houses and the zodiac signs. But I want to know from all of you, which ones do you want me to start with? What zodiac sign? What house sign? And what I will do is I will read straight out of that book. And then I will also do whatever intuitive um, information that I get. I will also share that along, uh, you know, whatever happens. We'll just see what, what happens. And this will get the nodes of the moon out to all of you who want to know your the what they mean. And this book that I have is out of print. And so I thought, well, if I can read them, I'll do a video, a general video. And but I just need to know from you. Leave a comment below or email me, however you want to do that. But I want to know what zodiac sign you want me to read first and what house sign you want me to read so okay so I think that's it that's all I want to say okay so let's get started Aquarius Sun Moon rising north or south nodes of the moon for your January 2021 reading Okay, the sacred geometry card that came out for you is number nine, and it's the frequency of allowance. The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way, without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Wow, that's big. That's deep. That is beautiful. Oh, my Aquarians. Those that don't know, this works on your subconscious, so you just look at this as long as you would like to. And that will help open up that frequency of violence for you. And you can pause the video if you need to. Okay. And then the spiritual animal that came out for you was the koala tribe stability circumspection very very cute little guy actually little teeny guy and mama okay okay so let's, let me take a minute and see if anything comes out of these two cards Well, with allowance, I'm just getting go with the flow, um, new, anything new coming your way. Just uh, do your best. Do your best just to stay open, open-minded, Aquarians. You're naturally that way anyway, so that shouldn't be too hard. Might be a little more difficult for some of you, depending on, because maybe you just have just your sun or just your rising sign, but um, you still have that ability, absolutely. So, yeah, to because new things are opening up, and you want to make sure that you are able to take all of that in fully and uh, without resisting anything. So you, of course, it says no judging, and do your best not to be fearful and maybe question if you get fearful or or you start noticing your your judgmental well maybe try and 
figure out why, you know? Um, okay. I'm not really getting anything from the koala yet, so I'm not going to try and try and force anything. But, um, of course, except for this little koala, you might, that this might be your spiritual animal, or this just might be your spiritual animal for the month of January, now through January. Um, just so if you see koalas, um, pictures of koalas or anything like that, you might want to look it up and see what that means. Okay, and then let's just pull an astrological card and see what your main energy, astrological energy is for now through January 2020. Because just yesterday, today is the 30th, and so yesterday we just had the full moon in Cancer. So, and you might want to check if you have your your natal wheel handy, even if you don't, uh, write it down now and check and see if you have any planets in Cancer or if you have any planets um, opposing Cancer, which would be in Capricorn, or any planets in Libra or Aries, because that squares Cancer. And the degree of the full moon was eight degrees, nearly, it was almost nine degrees. So it's very close to nine degrees. So um, take a look and see too, degree wise, how close that is. If you're within seven degrees, the closer you are, the more you will feel that energy of this full moon for you, um, along with having to do with whatever planet that is. And so you would want to look that up on the internet or to see what that means for you because that will be impacting you that is impacting you and that could have been uh, if you're very sensitive empathic um you could be have felt it a week ago already so anyway so the the house the astrological card what is the ninth house that came out for you and the ninth house is the house the natural house of sagittarius and higher mind, higher learning, so higher spirituality, um, broadening, your, okay, I'm going to read this, broadening your horizons either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. So that could mean physically on a long journey, or that could mean um, figuratively speaking, spiritually, mentally on a long journey, and maybe some of you I just got have just completed a long journey. Aquarius. So you will be reaping the benefits, the rewards, the blessings this month. And so you just get to sit back and allow, <laughs> allow them, allow yourself to receive whatever comes in, what you have earned. And okay, with this koala, some of you too will be reuniting or uniting whether reuniting from a past life or um, earlier maybe, some, some of you, or uniting from a past life the first time in this life with your tribe members, with your um, spiritual tribe, your um, family, your, your soul family. And it's going to be different, of course, for all of you, but... So you just put that in your situation. And you might want to look and see if you have anything in your ninth house. And also, do you have, um, you could have a Sagittarius North Node or a Sagittarius South Node. And I just got two. Some of you might have a Cancer North Node or a Cancer South Node. It You don't have to, um, but whatever south and north node you have that's going to be if it could be in the ninth house and interestingly oh i just bent a card oh how sad okay it's okay um interestingly enough i just noticed too the ninth house there's two nines you have the ninth house and number nine allowance so you might want to look at 99 and 
you know, the number nine. So we'll see, we'll see what that means. And that could be significant to you. And maybe some of you were born on the ninth. Aquarius, wow, okay, coming out for it. Could even say anything. Okay, the Knight of Cups. Something is coming in. You're receiving something, some emotional, um, it's, it's an emotional gratification in some form. It's a gift. It's a, well, it's, it's more than a gift because it's something you have earned. It's something you have earned. It's a cycle you have completed also. I'm seeing this school of fish again, and it's to me right now, the school of fish is saying a cycle that you have either just completed or you will be completing in January. Take a look at that for a moment. See if you get anything. But it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. And, and maybe it's uh, maybe it's something you've been wishing for, for some of you. And some of you it could be a total surprise, a total happy, happy surprise though, <laughs> because of all the work you've done. Well, now I just got two. Now this would be, this first one is gonna be for females. I just got um, your knight in shining armor. Could be those that are single, those that are, maybe that was your wish or something you've been desiring. And you're, I just got the words, your knight in shining armor are coming, they're coming. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. And if you're if you're a male, you're the knight in shining armor. You could be going to your lady on a white horse. It's a unicorn. And I get flying in. If not, well, yes, I see some wings too. So, so yes, and so others of you, it could just be um, some type of message. Some type of message is going to make you very, very happy. Because it's not going to be the same for everybody. It's not all going to be for love. That's understandable. Okay, let's see. Water could be significant for some of you, too. I just noticed this wave coming in. So very um, healing for some of you. Just gone. Okay. Oh, okay. And then the fool. All right, the fool is new beginnings. Aquarius, get rid of hot here. Okay, what I just got. You are going, you are going to a, a whole new level. Ascending to a whole new level. You're, of course, you're finishing one cycle, and so you are beginning in a brand new brand new beginning that is going to take you to your highest heights, your highest heights. Because what I'm seeing here, to me, he is kind of, he's like floating. He is like floating upward. He's not, his, his feet are not on the ground. At least that's how I'm seeing it. And that's what is coming to me. He's not on the ground. He's lifted up. He's lifted up. Yeah, and of course, a butterfly transformation. And then um, the raven sitting there, to me, is uh, you're making magic. Or there's something magical about what your new beginning um, for you, um, for the situation, whatever that is. It, it might seem qu quite magical. In fact, I also get, um, it might be, again, another um, a surprise. It might be something that is shock you, going to shock you, but in a good way, in a good way. Very, very happy surprise. I get that twice. 
Okay. Let's see what else. Okay, the death card, yeah. Yes, Aquarians, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Yeah, you've you've put to death something. You've been working, been working really hard with something yourself, with um, putting, leaving something behind that does not fit who you are now and where you are to go, your soul's calling, your divine mission. And you are either you have just completed that or you will be completing that. And maybe some of you with this uh, full moon that just happened yesterday in Cancer again, eight, almost nine degrees, Cancer, that could be the end of just you finishing up your, your cycle and then it's complete and yep. And it leaves you very peaceful. I'm seeing very peaceful and of course you're transformed. You, you're not the same person and you feel that you feel you are more stable. You, you know who you are, you know, um, if you don't know exactly where you going, you're going, you know that that wherever you're going, it's someplace that is calling you, and and um, you you are hearing the call. You are hearing the call, and you will continue to hear the call, and it, you will get more more and more details. But you don't necessarily know everything right now, not at all. But you know there is something out there for you. Some of you might know. Some of you might already know but some of you don't. So you're just keeping, again, allowing. That's where this allowing really comes in. Get For those of you that don't know exactly that you stay open, just, just relax and, and just, again, just allow things to come to you. Allow information, allow um, to you to receive physical things, um, messages, whether they be personal, you know, however that comes. Uh, signs and synchronicities too, signs and synchronicities too. And also I'm getting some of you who are going to be connecting with your, your soul tribe. That is where you're going to be then really strengthens and, and really um, uh, you'll know you're calling then because it has to do with them as well and coming together and maybe that also has everything to do with um part of i i don't see it in any cards except for this green here the healing that's part of healing and moving forward leaving the past and moving forward for some of you as well meeting a soul tribe whether it's romance whether it's friends um it could be both it could be both Okay, what else for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Oh, that's no, 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 no. Okay, let me try this again. Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes for Aquarius. What else can we tell them, Aquarius, for January? What can they look forward to? What can they expect? And also, if you don't know, Aquarians, um, Saturn and Jupiter just both went in to your sign, Aquarius, from Capricorn. So they're both zero degrees. And that happened, Saturn happened on the 17th of this month, December, and um, Jupiter happened on the 19th. So big stuff, big, big stuff. Okay, so what else? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. Okay, let me just pick one here. Eight of Cups, yes. Okay, I just got, you're coming up from a uh, uh, from the depths, from the depths of you, from the depths of 
and hell, some of you, coming up to the light, coming up to take a huge breath into the light, into the sunshine. You have been on a very, very long journey, some of you, and it's been very, very difficult, but you're, you're purified. I see that there's a white dove. You have a dolphin, so you have a, a renewed, uh, refreshed, new perspective, outlook on life. Um, let me see, how can I say this? Um, with, the, with the dolphin, it's like you're ready to start playing again. You're ready to start enjoying, having fun fun and um, laughing, you can now, you can, because the hard work that you've been doing in, in the depths, down in the trenches, in the deep, dark reaches of your soul, <laughs> for some of you, just cleaning, cleaning yourself out, purifying yourself again with the dove, and um, yes, right? It's very, very beautiful, but you're coming up right into, again, into the light. You see, you have a big star, and you're the star. That's, even though this is the Eight of Cups, I see this also as the star card, and that's the card of Aquarius. And here, your rainbow. You're coming into your happily ever after, your dreams and your wishes that you have been hard at work for. You've been really, really doing internal work to improve yourself, to um, raise your vibration, to increase you, increase you, increase your wisdom about you, about the world. Um, yeah. Your emotions. You've been working on your emotions too. Yeah. And again, here, the Knight of Cups, there, you know, um, and that's, it's not an easy, easy thing to do. And there's the full moon down there, too, so some of you, too, could be sensitive to the full moons. Okay, what else? For Aquarius, sun moon rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Aquarius. And I just got to looking at the koala. You're you're ready for some for some loving relationships, some relationships that are bonding, that are close, that are um, uh, equal. Um, where you feel at home, where you finally feel at home. You don't feel alone. You don't feel like you're the outcast because, of course, you know Aquarians. You guys are the ones that are far ahead. You see things so far ahead and and are very, very unique beings, very special souls. But you are also um, seeing you're a lot of times unfortunately put on the periphery because because you do. You're independent thinkers, which is awesome. That's what I love about all of you Aquarians. But that also scares some people too. So but now you're going to be coming into others that who, who really, really understand you, and you understand them, and you, you both or all cherish each other tremendously. And it's a deep bond that most don't have. But you also, some of you are, maybe that's what you're here to bring in, to assist to this earth, to humanity, that type of unconditionally loving depth of love and bonding with one another, that's what you might be bringing, might be part of your mission. Very beautiful, very beautiful, very essential, very essential. And I just got to, if if some of you watching, you haven't checked out your north and south nodes of the moon, 
I would do that. I would do that. And I just got that maybe some of you um, are either about ready to hit your first Saturn return, which is between the years of 29 and 31 years of age. And maybe even some of you, um, there's a second return too. And I want to think that is about, um, I think it's mid fifties, 56, 50, something like that would be the second Saturn return. And anytime in between too, because if you, um, if you weren't aware of it when you were 29 to 31, then it's still, it's still there for you to do. And you want to become consciously aware of that, however, whatever age you are. So I don't know why I was just, that was, I was called to say that for somebody. So, um, yeah, take a look at that. Take a look at some more of the of the moon and read up on what Saturn return is for some of you, if that sounds right for you. Okay. So that's Yeah, you've been put into death. Again, this is just the Seven of Swords is just confirming that yeah, you've you have been figuring out who you are, what what suits you, what's good for you, what's not good for you, and situations, environments. Um, really digging in to 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 what heals you, to what makes you happy, to what doesn't, and um, doing with those things, people, beliefs, even environments, what you must do um, so that you can move forward and be the best version of you. And so you, some of you might still be in that process, and you'll be completing that process in January. Some of you, maybe a few of you are, are going to be, um, that's going to be an ongoing thing through 2021. It's going to be different for everyone. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what else. Anything else? For Aquarius, actually, I'm being called to. I'm gonna pick up my other cards. I just feel like I need to use this other deck now. Okay, so let's just see what else. And hopefully, you can still. Yeah, looks like you can still see me well. The sun is going down. In my neck of the woods here. So let's see. What else, Aquarius, what else can we tell Aquarians? What do we need to know for January? Okay, 2021, Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. For Aquarius, what else can we tell them? Um, I won't because that wasn't it almost it'll come out if that was meant to I'm not gonna push it okay okay what else for Aquarius sun moon rising north or south nodes of the moon for Aquarius Aquarius, what else can we tell them? Okay, let's see here. All right. Three of Cups. Well, you have a celebration coming. Yes, that makes sense. All of your hard work. So there's celebration. Again, I get with this celebration card, what I am seeing is your soul tribe those that you really, really can bond with and that you are finally home, you feel at home with. They get you, you get them 
on a very deep level that you've never experienced before. That's very beautiful. And I just heard life begins. Life finally begins for you, Aquarians. Once you start experiencing your new beginning, your new life, I just thought that, that you're, you will think back and where you thought in the past that you were actually living life, when you're now living in your new life, you will know, oh my goodness, now you're living life. You have never lived life before. That's really neat. What else? Let's get one more. One more card for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. North or south nodes of the moon. Yeah, with that ninth house, I just was drawn to the ninth house, which is higher mind, higher learning, um, expanding your horizons about yourself is what I'm getting and that to me is saying for those of you that haven't checked out your if if you haven't gotten your natal wheel done I would definitely do that and look at all of your planets in all of your houses and then especially take a look at your north and south nodes of the moon and again if you what I said at the beginning of of my before I started your reading if you would like me to read just a general reading. Um, I'm not going to, any one of you that leaves me a comment and tells me or asks me which, which signs to read and which houses to read, I'm not going to disclose your name. So don't think I will that unless you put on there, you want me to, which I will definitely do if you want me to. It's not a problem either, but no, it'll just be a general reading because that will assist all the others out there that want to hear their north and south nodes that are in that same house and sign. So it's, it's beneficial for every single one of us, for this humanity to move forward and, um, yeah, knowing the truth of who we are again, right? Because I, what I didn't mention in the beginning, and I need to do that now, is those of you that don't know, your north and south nodes of the moon is each is where each one of our personal work is, and it we get it when we're born. It it gets downloaded into our subconscious, so we have to bring it out of that subconscious. So we have to bring it out into the conscious, and that's why reading it, reading, that's why I'm um, wanting to do that. Because until you know what it is, you can't take care of it and it will it will block you. It will block you in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Okay, let's get one more for Aquarius. Sun and rising, north or south nodes of the moon for Aquarius. Okay, let's just let me just choose one. Well, look at that. You got the Ten of Cups. See, you're happy ever after, happily ever after. Satch got the Ten of, I think it was the Ten of Pentacles, which is also a happily ever after. So um, you might have something in Sag. And again, here's the ninth house in Sag. So you also might have a planet in Sag or you could have your north or south node in Sag. So that's pretty amazing. So yes, you've been, for you specifically, I see you've been working on your emotional self. A, a, a great deal of that, a great deal of that time and effort has in your um, deep, deep diving because <laughs> that's water too you've got a lot of 
got several water. Yes, you've got one. Let me see here. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've got one, two, three, four, four water. So that's absolutely, absolutely your emotional self. And so that's what you have been working. That's, that's beautiful. That's very, very beautiful, Aquarius. Okay. Well, you have a tremendous January and I know you're just going to allow and let your blessings come in. Let the information and messages and whatever new things come to you. Things, people, um, situations, ideas. That's just beautiful. So enjoy. Okay, until next time.